Alrighty, y'all. How you going? We're looking at uh, a big, heavy haul this time down under. This is going to be pretty cool. I want to look at uh, a couple of these in the next week or so. Uh, we're starting out with this one. This was suggested to me in the comments of a previous video. I'll link at the end. Uh, from user BH8. That's the uh, name there. And uh, yeah, this video was linked. This is called Super Load 390 Tons, 800 Kilometers Dash Australian Trucks. Uh, so I believe this load, um, he said, went from Victoria to South Australia. Obviously, we're just going to look at a couple clips of that journey somewhere along the way. And this is from a channel called Train Stay Well. So uh, make sure to check them out with the link in the description down below. Watch this video and check out the channel. Let's waste no more time. Let's get into this. I uh, First of all, what a lovely Holden Commodore in the foreground here. I mean, I've never seen one in purple. Is that a factory color? Looks really good. And uh, yeah, I'll be enjoying looking at traffic and most of all, the emergency vehicles, the pilot cars or pilot vehicles, and then the lovely truck or trucks and the cargo. Electrical transformer being transported about 800 kilometers from Glen Waverly to Torrens Island Power Station in Adelaide. All right, very neat. Looks like it's a little bit of a breeze that day. So I noticed we have the hallway back there. We have tons of lead vehicles, and we have uh, one vehicle way ahead up here that has been uh, planted there with a big oversized load ahead uh, banner. Looks to be some sort of funny-looking uh, Toyota van. Definitely a Toyota van that we do not get here in the States. Uh, I love this Holden wagon. Looks to be a Commodore-based wagon. That's cool. Definitely didn't get that here as well. <laughs> Wow, that Honda Civic, uh, that blue one down there is driving right towards these guys. Wow. Now, I don't really know how this works, but I would assume you kind of want to pull over and or, or, you know, some sort of protocol, not just like go full speed ahead at these guys. That was kind of weird, right? He was almost playing chicken with that uh, truck there or that ute. Jeez. Maybe I'm observing that wrong, but I feel like he was kind of uh, being a prick, yeah? <laughs> Look at all these cars. I mean, I get traffic is traffic, but, uh, you know, at some points, you got to make room for these, these guys. Stuff's got to move to make the world go round, you know what I mean? That includes big cargo. 90 meters long and weighs around 390 tons, so... Definitely really heavy, and uh, it's big. This is not this is a, not a kid's game here. This is a big, heavy cargo. <laughs> you can see that guy in the van trying to uh, direct some people up front there. Wow, that is big. You can see it from here. This is a great camera angle. Definitely zoomed in from up on this hill. Look at that cool Toyota. Um, I don't know if that's a Hilux or if it's an SUV. Maybe it's a Toyota uh, Fortuner. Aren't those called that? I don't think they're called Forerunners overseas. I think they're called Fortuners or something. A Nissan El Grand. Never heard of that either. All right, so uh, one thing that's cool, um, user BH8 no, uh, noted this in his comment. I've never seen this before. I don't know how I've never seen it. If I have, I don't remember. Uh, you'll notice these emergency vehicles, in this case, uh, are heavy traffic enforcement vehicles. They have purple or actually more like magenta lights. Look at these. That is freaking cool because it's so different. And it is a, a pleasing uh, color in a light. I mean, it's really neat. Look at the, all the purple. Of course, you have typical amber that you would see in most any country, including here. Uh, for, you know, vehicles like this. But seeing these magenta light equipped vehicles is really neat. And uh, they mentioned that that uh, signifies um, heavy traffic enforcement. So that's really cool. Look at this Toyota. Um, oh, why is the name escaping me? Not Toyota Land Cruiser, right? Something else? I don't remember.
really cool though okay now that let's, let's hear this truck it was far away now I'll shut my yapper let's hear this thing god it looks like yeah it looks like it's a Mac it's a sharp looking sharp looking truck it's uh, doing some work today that's for damn sure Ooh, what do we got we got another Mac here pulling a interesting load there it was like a double trailer short in front longer in back someday I'll learn the names of these I know you guys have briefly taught them to me sometimes in the comments I just don't have them uh, studied or memorized quite yet Ooh, look at that um, look at the load swaying just a bit I wonder if that uh, is supposed to be like that or what? Yeah, it seems to be swaying just a bit. Oh, yeah. Look at it. It is two trucks. Okay, it is. <laughs> okay, so similar setup to the previous video we saw with the ALE company in up in the UK not quite as big of a load but almost as big of course this is a fun experience seeing this just because it's of course different setting uh, these roads may I mentioned look to be a little bigger a little wider uh, more you know towards uh, what I would be used to here in the US I, we look to be more in like a in between town area you know not quite rural but not quite you know city center type deal so I think that helps, uh, whereas that uh, video from the UK a few days ago, uh, they were in some tighter spaces, of course, because most of Europe is just that way anyway. And uh, I think it was still in, in you know, an actual town, whereas this is uh, looks to be in somewhat of an open area. So that's kind of cool, a little bit easier. Uh, and then it's just fun to see the different scenery, see the different vehicles, of course. I love the magenta lights, really cool discovery on that. Love all these different cars. I'm always amazed by Aussie traffic because there's so many vehicles we don't have. And those trucks were doing work. We had two Max up there doing hella work. And I believe there was a truck in the back, wasn't there? And uh, I believe that you guys educated me in the last video that the truck in back is more so for help um, braking, I believe. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure I read that, though. And this is just a shorty. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. So uh, make sure to check that out in the description down below. Watch it uninterrupted and uh, definitely check out their channel. But I will be looking at some more of these. I really like looking at these heavy cargo, heavy haul, uh, ginormous object, you know, kind of moves. I think they're very interesting. Uh, please send your suggestions my way through comments, through Discord, you know, um, you know, through email, whatever you want, right? Through Instagram at IW Rocker. And uh, I would love to check out more of these. I believe... Uh, there's definitely potential for more of these uh, anywhere, but especially in Australia, right? You guys got big open roads um, and some really, really cool hauls. I just briefly I've seen before, and uh, this was no different. Very good footage of this. Uh, interesting to see all the traffic vehicles uh, and the emergency vehicles. And then, yeah, to see how they had to kind of get them off to the side, moved over uh, so he could sneak through. Very cool to see. I don't know why these are just very fun for me. It's fun to see these big vehicles, these big trucks, and these big, humongous, heavy cargo uh, just moved across the earth, right? It is just something that a lot of people never even see, never even think of. Uh, but here I am. I freaking love it. I think it's awesome. And, uh, you know, round of applause for trucking uh, everywhere. But especially even this is different than just over the road or day-to-day -day trucking, right? Uh, this is a big deal, literally. <laughs> I love the strategy involved with it and all the different coordination and planning and uh, route planning, you know, height, width, you know, all these things they have to measure and uh, make sure that they're not going to encounter problems when it comes to uh, get driving and deliver this thing. Can't wait to see your comments down below. Please throw a thumbs up on there if you enjoyed this. Subscribe to be part of this amazing community. My name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker. And until next time, y'all, catch you later.